हाँ वी कैन सी दैट इज वट इज द कार्डिनल पॉइंट ऑफ पॉइट्री दैट इज मैंशन इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वर्क एस ए दैट इज वट आर द कार्डिनल पॉइंट ऑफ पॉइट्री अकॉर्डिंग टू कॉलेज दर आर टू कार्डिनल पॉइंट्स रू क्यों दैट ईस् द पवर ऑफ एक्साइटिंग द सेंपति ऑफ द रीडर बै ए फेत्फु अडहर टू द ट्रूत बै नेचर एंड द पवर ऑफ गिविंग द इंट्रस्ट ऑफ नोवलटी बै द मॉडिफाइ कल ऑफ इमाजेशन अब रू क्यों पॉइट्री प्रधानपेट क्यों आज पर द पवर ऑफ एक्साइटिंग द सेंपति ऑफ द रीडे बै ए फेत्फु अडहर टू द ट्रूत बै नेचर् अब आीडेस एने सेंपति एक्सईटे आभव कार्डिनल पॉइंट द अदर थिंग ईस द पवर ऑफ गिविंग द इंट्रस्ट ऑफ नोवलटी बै द मॉडिफाइ कल ऑफ इमाजेशन द स्पेफिक थिंग ईस टेक एंड दट ए कैंड ऑफ इंट्रस्ट ऑफ नोवलटी ईज गि यूसी मोडि इमाजेशन इमाजेशन ईज यूस इन ऑर्डर टू ब्रिंग अ कैंड ऑफ नोवलटी अब ई रु क्यों कार्डिनल पॉइंट ऑफ पॉइट्री आईटे ईर एस आज पर नो वी कैन सी वट आर द अदर थिंग दट ईस् वेड्स वर्त एंड कॉलेज वाट दे हाव डन इन लिरीिकल बैलट्स वी हाव ऑलरेडी सीन द प्रिफर्स ऑफ लिरीिकल बैलट्स एंड नो वी कैन सी वाट आर द थीम्स दैट दे डेलट दैट ईस स्पेफिकली मेन इन दिस चाप्टर फोरटीन ओके थीम सिलेक्शन फॉर फॉम्स इन लिरीिकल बैलट्स So, supernatural elements were dealt, or the theme of supernatural was dealt with. Samuel Taylor Coleridge, Coleridge, he uh, he thought he could manage all these supernatural things, and then he has written, as we know that he has written beautiful poems of uh, like uh, Ancient Mariner. Then we have um, Kublai Khan. All these poems are uh, dealing with supernatural, but Col Wordsworth uh, dealt with ordinary life and situations. and he uh, made some common things uncommon and then um, uh, he he dealt with the, our in his theme his themes of his poetry was ordinary life and situations uh, for wordsworth and it was published as we have seen in the last class lyrical ballads were were, were published as an experiment so all these poems were like an experiment they did an experiment they published it and it, the experiment become successful now college contributions to a lyrical ballad so what are the things that he contributed that is mentioned in biographia literaria okay actually there were uh, four poems written by college in um, biographia literaria pakshe biographia literaria le uh, i mean lyrical ballads le four poems aanu avare aare eduthittullad contribution of college but whatever he mentioned uh, only three poems has mentioned in this particular work appo ee oru work le adeham parana the ancient mariner dark lady christabel these are the three poems that are mentioned that are included in lyrical ballads which is mentioned in biographia literaria okay now college criticizes wordsworth's theory of poetry that is language of ordinary life as best like yesterday we have seen that wordsworth uh, justified Uh, the theme and the language of poetry but a uh, theme may uh, um, college doesn't has any problem with the theme or the creed of poetry but he has a complaint or he has some uh, some kind of objections against a language of ordinary life as best adana ettum nalladu nu parnadhu mathra language nodum nothra budhimutt undayittalla prashna undayittalla but adu oru endha paraya अदान और ओर्डिरी लाइफ बेस्ट कोलेज अंगीक बिकॉज आस वी हाव सी दैट एज्युन ईस् नोलेज ईस् एंड इंपॉर्ट आसपेक्ट इन षेपिंग ए पॉइंट आीर का कोलेजि सो बट द थिंग ईस् कोलेज डिफेंडेड वेर्ड्स वर्त पॉटिक्रेड पॉटिक्रेड वेर्ड्स वर्ति थी क्यों अल थीमस कोलेज डिफेंडे ओके नौ we can see the next thing that is difference poem and poetry uh, so here is a kind of uh, 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 difficult or uh, uh, a kind of thing that we consider as same that is poem and poetry appo namakku poem um poetry um onnaanu alle endana adile oru vyathyasam poem poetry um thammile namakku kaariyittu vyathyasam onnilla but according to 
Coldridge, he considered poem and poetry, uh, he defined it differently. Okay, so what is classification? Poetry is an activity of poets, poet's mind. That is an activity that happens in a poet's mind. That is poetry. What is poem then? Poem is one of the forms of expression, a verbal expression of the activity of the poet's mind. poet's mind But uh, poetry is an activity, just it's an activity inside poet's mind. But poem is one of the forms of expression, a verbal expression of the activity. Our cardiate, our verbal expression, Aki Matimbo, Adina Parina than a poem and the leather. Okay. So he defined, uh, he uh, classified, college classified poem and poetry. That is, poetry is an activity of poet's mind, and poem is one of the forms of expression, or a verbal expression of the activity of the poet's mind. Now we can see the theory of poetry. Theory of poetry in the unqualitative summation of poetry in the banana. So we have already said that it is an activity of poet's mind. Poet's mind in the activity in the banana. In the theory of poetry. Now, theory of poetry. Poetry is an activity of the poet's mind that brings the whole soul of man with the subordination of its faculty with each other according to their relative worth and dignity. That he diffuses a tone and spirit of unity that blends and as it were fuses each into each by that synthetic and magical power appa dokke namakku kaanam endana synthetic and magical synthetic magical power ennalad okay so poetry is an activity of the poet's mind that brings the whole soul of man with the subordination of its faculties with each other then the faculties nu vannaale soul of man mind poet inde mind illa our faculties that is a different aspect according to their relative worth and dignity and then poet diffuses a tone and then as the spirit of unity that blends and it were fuses a mix each into each by that synthetic or pratega maitulla or synthetic aitulla or magical power and okay adana idham partulla theory of poetry we will see what is this synthetic magical power and the faculty and each and every every aspects okay but theory of poetry annu parnu kanal ipo nammal indare kandu uh, Wordsworth uh, defines poetry as a spontaneous flow of, uh, flow of powerful feelings. But according to colleges, this is his theory of poetry. Now we can see the poetic genius. Now we have already said poet's mind. Now we have to say that poetic genius or poetic skill is that is good sense is the body of poetic genius. Fancy its drapery, motion its life, and imagination the soul that is everywhere and in each and forms all into one graceful and intelligent whole. So, this is a poetic genius. That is, the activity poetry is an activity that happens or takes place in poet's mind. So, that is the first thing. That is the first thing. Uh, important title or genius, poetic genius in the Parnagana. Good sense is the body of poetic genius. Fancy its drapery. A body or good sense and I can the poetic genius in the body. I am like fancy in the Parana. Fancy in the Nalada, we will see. Okay, fancy is drapery or cloth the fancy in the Parana. Motion its life. Poetic genius in their life and motion. Up a motion in the Varan Namakariello, Namking and a connecting a button, for example, ah, that, 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 will, uh, that I will uh, uh, explain later. That is motion, its life and imagination, the soul. Upon the imagination, Anna Atma, soul. That is everywhere and in each and forms all into one graceful and intelligent whole. So the thing is that. Fancy fancy dress fancy its drapery. Drapery in the fancy and fancy dress in the you can remember it, I guess. Then motion or some motion life under the Ningle again area. Other motion and down below the reluctant down below the lane down the It is just in a connecty and a marana pova the decan and it parayana. Okay. So uh, good sense is the body. Body. 
and then drapery in the varnagaynal what is the drapery of poetic genius that is the fancy now what is the life of poetic genius that is motion and what is the soul of poetic genius that is imagination appo soul endu parnu kaynal imagination aanu life of poetic genius endu parnu kaynal endana that is motion aanu then drapery of poetic genius endu parnu kaynal that is fancy then the body of poetic genius is good sense so that is how uh, coleridge has defined poetic genius poetic genius and our uh, definition id they having and got the so usually you have a question you, 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 you are expected to have a question from this area because it is a bit confusing it is not that but people are going to get to an area it is going to be like this we have to ask questions we have to ask questions dash is the soul of poetic genius and so they care and other people what is the life uh and like what is the uh, drapery of poetic genius to the kind of thing that you can write about it and okay it's very easy i guess in your particular in your fancy dress at the pole motion life life and degree motion uh, motion and degree life on the barrier but you'll lose about in it other police all the one only imagination imagination in other poetry on the jam but less so that is the soul of poetic genius now we can go to the next one that is what are the aims of poetry so the immediate aim of poetry is pleasure that is most important for college college it can could the light that is he has given importance to pleasure immediate aim of poetry is pleasure and the ultimate aim of poetry is truth first of all we have seen that okay but for college he gives importance to the immediate aim of poetry angane und rendu verum i mean college and words with both agree on uh, this that is poetic poetry nu parayana pleasure kodukkan pattanam or immediate pleasure venam ennalla karyathil rendu verum ore ore abhiprayam aanu adu pole ultimate aim ennalla karyathilum avare truth thaneyana both of them uh, consider that is college and words worth consider it as uh, the ultimate aim truth as the ultimate aim of poetry but for college he considered the immediate aim of poetry pleasure is most important okay appo truth nekkal kudal college indana importance kodukkunnathu that is pleasure that is the immediate aim of poetry okay fine now prose and poetry prose and poetry thamilulla oru connection oru oru karyangal anganeyulla avaru thamilulla oru relations um karyangal okke aanu ivada parayunnathu according to college both have same elements but different combination of elements so the elements uh, whatever the elements are they both of them have the same elements but uh, the difference is that they have different combination of elements pala reethile valare different aitla combinations ore elements then pala reethile combination varumbo adine onnine nammal poetry nu parayum sometimes we call it as prose so what are the elements of form that blends together sound and meter communication pleasure and emotional effects all functions together so these are the elements of poetry that is for a uh, poem there should be sound and meter then there should be communication and it has another element that is pleasure and then it should has um, emotional effects all these functions blends together to make poems so basically ad endana appo namak ariyam idanna irikum prose l ullathu but the thing is that they are they have di- that is different in combinations okay appo so there will be a different combination of elements which makes uh, the poetry which make it distinguishes poetry from prose appo idokkana the elements ennalladhu krithyamayi padikka that is sound and meter communication pleasure and emotional effects okay now uh, he has said that poetry is the best words in the best order he says that poetry is the best words in the best order enganeyana that is because poetry uses meter poetry uses meter so the poetry is the best words in the best order okay and then the process of reading a poem is compared with the movement of a serpent or like the path of sound through the air the process appo nammal oru poem vaaikana samayathu we the 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 activity is compared the movement of that the p- process of reading a poem is compared with the movement of a serpent or pa or endha vara snake ingane move inna pole aa or slither inna pole illa or movement aanu or process of reading cheyina samayatha adinodana compare idittullathu okay 
Coleridge, uh, according to Coleridge, he considered that the process of reading a poem is, is like the movement of a serpent or like the path of sound through the air. Engan yano that the the path of uh, sound or the sound moves through the air. It's just like that. Uh, it is the process of reading is just like that. Enala di dinana they have compared it. That is uh, the uh, the motion or the process of reading a poem. Okay. Now we can go to poetic faith. What is poetic faith? So to enjoy or read, this is very important. Okay, that is uh, one of the most uh, distinguishing aspect of the theory. Okay, of this particular theory that is called rigid theory. Let me go to the poetic faith in the regarding bar. And that is to enjoy or read a poem with supernatural elements. In it, the reader must engage in willing suspension of disbelief. which constitute the poetic faith ab poetic faith ennu parnu kaynale endana that is willing suspension of disbelief vena ennale ullu a person or a reader can enjoy poem with supernatural elements as we already know that coleridge has dealt with or the theme of his poems were supernatural when he has written when he has written this um, um, um poems for lyrical ballads uh, he has dealt with the theme of supernatural elements and he says that to enjoy that particular uh, to enjoy or read that particular poems ningalku endu venam manasil ningalku endu or kelvu venam that is you should be able to willingly suspend you have to willing have willing suspension of disbelief and that is what which constitutes the poetic faith willing suspension of disbelief the intentional avoidance of critical thinking or logic in examining something surreal such as a work of speculative fiction in order to believe it for the sake of enjoyment appo wikipedia il ullo or definition aanu okay just wait i think somebody has 